Welcome to Jaden's fabulous trip to Sub-Saharan Africa. I will be taking you through my totally fab vacation. I first hopped on a plane to Cape Town, South Africa, the second most populous city in South Africa after Johannesburg. The beautiful city is most famous for its beautiful harbor, its very unique soccer stadium, and breathtaking table mountain. It's called that because it's flat like a table. Let's move past those facts you probably don't even care about. I first went to the Castle of Good Hope. Now, this doesn't look like your average castle. It looks like a simpler replica to the United States Pentagon. Although, the Castle of Good Hope was built way before the Pentagon. It also has many features that you could visit, like the Good Hope Center and the Leardom. Next, I headed over to Camp Bay to relax and of course tan. It is a beautiful bay slash beach to get your tan on and just relax. But it is hard to do that when you can't find a spot. After I was tan enough to go brag about it to my family, suffering in the 28 degree weather, haha <laughs> Pittsburgh, I decided to go back to my hotel room and get ready to do one of the most scariest slash coolest things of my life. The aerial cable to the table mountain, of course. Every time the car would rock, it would make my heart drop every time. Once I got to the table mountain, I took a couple selfies and headed off to the Jazzards Dance Theater in Central Cape Town. It's not dancing like this. Yes, that is me. It's more like this. They put some paint on their face and dress up in tan, feathery, or beaded fabric. And they do these very interesting arm, hand, and foot motions to create an African dance. I then headed back to my hotel and called it a day. In the morning, I grabbed my camera and went to the Kogaldi Trans Frontier Park. I looked at the five most famous animals that lived there. I first looked at the Gems book, Striking Desert Antelope or the album of the park. I then looked at the meerkat, the hyperactive little omnivores have a wonderfully intricate family tree. I then looked at the black maned Kalahari lions, the very athletically impressive kings of the Kalahari desert. Lastly, I visited the sociable weavers, the little birds construct humongous to end my trip in Cape Town, I couldn't pass up going to the amazingly beautiful Victoria Falls, or else it is called Masai Eo Tunaya. It means the smoke the thunders. I swam in the Devil's Pool, which was really scary. To end my trip to Victoria Falls, I went across the Zambezi River Bridge. I then ended my trip to Cape Town and went up north to Uganda. While in Uganda, I went to the Cabell National Forest, and I learned a couple facts about some animals. This fact about elephants will be a shocker. Most of them don't even like peanuts. So, cartoons are lying to us. The buffalo, even with the biggest family, they don't even remember their own mother half of the time. Not even one zebra has the exact same pattern as another. The lion is the second largest living cat after the tiger. A leopard can reach to 60 miles per hour while running. That's faster than most cars. I learned some antelope are born with a broken horn. I realize I'm kind of sick of wildlife, so I headed up to Kenya and visited Nairobi. It was a very beautiful city with a lot of wealth and poverty. Nairobi is also the capital of Kenya, although all of the city wasn't so beautiful. This half the city is called the slums of Nairobi. They aren't so wealthy like the rest of Nairobi. I then headed to Somalia. There I visited Lag Badana National Park. It's more like a beach, but I don't know why they just call it a park. It is a beautiful park, or should I say beach, but there are some worn places that I wasn't allowed to go to. But a sign and some guards aren't going to stop me. I'm no Indiana Jones or anything, and I don't like to push my own buttons, but I punched the guards and I kicked the guards, and let's just say they're not going to come out too good in the hospital. Although, I did get locked up in jail for a couple hours, but then this nice lady bailed me out and swore to not tell my parents. I then ended off my journey with amazing, and I mean amazing, architecture that I will never ever forget. That place would none other be Timbuktu in Mali. All of their amazing architecture is made out of sand. The most amazing sight to see was the Dinjawarbar Moscow. <laughs> I was trying to pronounce it myself, but a guy stopped me. He told me how to say it correctly, but one, I couldn't understand him, and two, I still can't remember what he said. After that amazing journey, it had to come to an end. I sadly had to go back to the freezing cold Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 
Thank you for coming with me on my fabulous Sub-Saharan Africa trip. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Bye.